The topic today is an adversary that poses a threat, a serious threat, to the security of the United States of America. This adversary is one of the world's last bastions of central planning. It governs by dictating five-year plans. From a single capital, it attempts to impose its demands across time zones, continents, oceans, and beyond. With brutal consistency, it stifles free thought and crushes new ideas. It disrupts the defense of the United States and places the lives of men and women in uniform at risk. Perhaps this adversary sounds like the former Soviet Union. That enemy is gone. Our foes are more subtle and implacable today. The adversary's closer to home. It's the Pentagon bureaucracy. As Rumsfeld's rhetorical gimmick revealed itself, the faces in the audience went stone. Most of the people listening had devoted their careers to fighting the Soviet Union and didn't appreciate being compared to commies at this stage in the game. Rumsfeld wasn't finished. We know the adversary. We know the threat. And with the same firmness of purpose that any effort against a determined adversary demands, we must get at it and stay at it. Today, we declare war on bureaucracy. He'd done it. The defense secretary had not only described the Pentagon as a grave threat to America, but declared war against the institution where he worked. The audience was stunned. The date of his contentious address was September 10th, 2001.